Yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up? Ah, uh, man. So it's Sunday morning. It's almost 9:30 where I'm at in Philly, East Coast. 9:30 a.m. See the sun. And I got a long day ahead of me. Mostly building coils. What's up, Mitch Green? What's up, Chessy? So I figured I'd come on while I'm having my coffee before I get started on my big day. What's up, Brad? Stu, what's up? It's not build time. What's up, Black Hat Whiteface? Ozzy. Actually, it kind of is build time, but I'm not going to be building on here. I got a lot of, like, production coils to do. Yep. Jerry, Alistair, Ozzy, Subaru, Josh Rhodes. What's up? What's up? So I just went and got my coffee. Had my shower. So a couple things I did want to talk about on this video was the main reason why I was coming on. So um, the raffle drawing is today. Um, the raffle drawing for blue. Um, so for those of you that are watching this and don't know what's going on. <clears throat> um, the resistance crew and I are throwing a raffle, a $5 raffle or a waffle, I should say. People ask me why, what's the difference between waffle and raffle? Waffle and raffle are the same thing, but raffles are, vape raffles are illegal in my state. And I think, I think raffles, I'm not sure, but I think raffles online are just illegal. I'm not sure. I, or it may just be vape ones. I'm not positive. So we're throwing a waffle on my channel that is um, that is raising money for blue. Blue is the picture that's in the thumb. Oh, no, it's not. I tried to make it a picture in the thumbnail. Blue is a little boy who is suffering with a rare form of cancer. He's going through all the treatment and everything. So um, we're raising money for him and his family while he's in the hospital for him to, you know, have stuff to do and anything they may need, may need to pay bills at home while they're at the hospital. It's just really rough when people are in the hospital. So the raffle drawings today, if you still want to get your raffle tickets, you can. I'm going to grant raffle tickets all the way up until like a half an hour before I go live at 7 p.m. on this channel tonight. So 7 p.m. I'm going to go live and pick. What's up, Yeti, Dustin? Um, I'm going to pick the raffle tickets at 7 p.m. tonight on this channel. So until 6.30, you could buy tickets. What you have to do is you have to go over. I have a video, and you could watch that. You know, it says the blue raffle on it, so go watch that video. But um, all you have to do is donate $5 or $10, and you get two tickets. But each $5 gets you one ticket. You go over to The Cook 420. You go over to the Cook 420 PayPal. I'm going to type in the Cook 420 so you know how to spell it. The Cook 420 at yahoo.com. And that is the PayPal. I just put it in the description, in the, in the comments. That's the PayPal that you send the $5 to for each ticket. You send it there. Take a screenshot of it that you sent it. And then you go over to Instagram and you could send it to Instagram to me, send the picture to me and I'll give you, I'll put you into the, uh, into the raffle. Uh, so, Hey, Tommy Bates, what's up? So, um, that drawing is going to be tonight at 7 PM. And then after that drawing, I'm guessing that video is going to be about a half an hour long. After that, um, I'm going to take a little break. And then I'll be on to do the Sunday night show, uh, Sunday night build and everything. Um, I still don't know what I'm doing tonight. I don't think I got any comments asking me what kind of staple to do. So, um, yeah, business and then party. Business in the front, party in the back. The latest you could get in is 6.30 p.m. tonight. 
<clears throat> if I may, I may give a couple of tickets away in the beginning. So I think I am. So I'm going to give a couple of tickets away in the beginning of the show of the of the raffle. I'm going to give away spot number one and the last spot because nobody likes them spots. All right. So I'm going to give away spot number one. And let's say there's 100 spots. I'm going to give away spot 100, you know, or 101 if it's 100 spots. So um, that's what I'm going to do. It's your daughter's birthday. Happy birthday to her. Today's date, what is it, like the 8th or something? Yes, I'm getting that video together also. The Coil Wars judging, I'm getting that together also. That's something else I'm doing between today and tomorrow. Because I also have to do the build in that video. So far, how many tickets sold? I can tell you right now, actually. So far, it wasn't like a crazy amount. It's a good amount, but it's not a crazy amount that sold. We did we did really good on the twenty five dollar raffle because that raised three hundred and seventy five hours in a day. So I'm gonna look at it collectively because um, you know money raised is money raised. So let me check. I, I do have a couple that just came in. So let me do this real quick. All right, so we have five, seven, 21, 22, 24, 29, 31, 36, 37, 38, 38 tickets, 38 times five, eight times 40, 315. Oh, so I already raised as much money so we raised 190 dollars and i only wanted to raise like 150 so i mean we raised the money to for the prizes already so we raised almost after my tickets we raised 200 dollars even you sent me an email on purchasing okay i'll check my email i'll check it now while we're live so um other than that tuesday we're going to do a video on this guy the ghoul we're going to do a ghoul video and next weekend there is not going to be a build video because i'm going to be in detroit but i will have i'm going to have some kind of some kind of content maybe i'll even like i got a I got a bnb so i'm going to be staying at a room while i'm in detroit maybe i'll come on at the end of the day and just tell you guys what i'm doing i got to see how the bnb is because I know that the B&B is like a room in somebody's house. I know that um, because just the way that they've been talking to me. Um, so I'll see. I don't want to be up talking late at night because I will be getting home late at night most likely. So, yeah, the goal's awesome, man. The goal's really awesome. I really like it. Somebody told me that their thing broke on it, that their ceramic broke on it, but I cranked down on that bitch. I guess we'll see after I give it some heat, but. So, um, let me check my email. So to Tuesday, we'll do the ghoul tonight. We're going to do some kind of staple coil. I got a lot of coils to get ready now. I got a couple orders to fill in Philly that I'm meeting people. Like I'm meeting a couple people to uh, sell them coils. A couple other things I wanted to go over today too. <laughs> it's actually, it's a female and her son. So hopefully the son says that. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, Brad. Yeah, I had take homes today. I'm good. So, what am I doing? Email. And who said that? That was Matthew Kilgore said that. You said it was like two weeks ago. If it was two weeks ago, I'll check my spam. I get a lot of spam, man. Is there any way, I'm back to March 10th and I, I don't see, yeah, I'm all the way back to March 10th. I don't see you in spam. Is there any chance you didn't send it to me? Art of Seno, Seno um, I did not know that, um, that you were Teddy Damp. You're Teddy Damp, right? I did not fucking know that. I was like, damn, this dude's good. He's kind of like Teddy Damp. It is Teddy Damp, right? What's up, Rambo? I hope Rambo's laughing at that, but that's true, right? Yeah, Teddy Damp's in here. But his name is Art. You're laughing at that. Yeah, I did not know that. And I was like, damn, this guy's fucking good. I was like, Teddy better watch out. He better watch out. <laughs> this guy's going to take his stick. <clears throat> so Teddy, Teddy's been watching me. That's crazy. So, yo, I got, I don't know if I should talk about this, but I did get an email from a, a builder that has a YouTube channel in like, I want to say it's like Israel and he's got a good following too. And, um, he, he wants me to come on his channel. He wants me and a couple people to come on to his channel. He's waiting for a confirmation from the others. And I don't really feel, I'm going to ask him if it's cool to talk about him in that situation. But yeah, he contacted me on Instagram and I went over to his channel. He's got like real good production and like he's got like 15,000 subscribers. And um, yeah, he's talking, he's talking big things. So I was like, yeah, I'm in. He said, he said, I'll get you on my channel and I got a translator. I said, get the fuck out of here. Because he does all of his, he does all of his build videos in, uh, in Hebrew. I, I believe it's Hebrew. I work with uh, Israelis, so I, I kind of under I, I don't understand. I know what the language sounds like. Um, I'll tell you who it is. I, I could tell you who it is. It don't matter. It's the worst that can happen. We don't do it. Yeah, it's something like that. Yep, that's it. It's like Sirs Navalersky. It's a very weird name. Navalesti. I'll show you his, um, whatchamacallit. This is his Instagram. He doesn't have a big Instagram following, but his fucking, his YouTube's really good. His videos are good fucking quality. I mean, it kind of sucks for Americans to see, but he's talking about getting, you know, some builders on his channel, uh, mostly all around the world, like a U.S. guy, some a German guy. You know, he's talking pretty big things. It would be awesome if he got it together. 
if not, I wouldn't mind just doing one just with him. Yeah. Yeah, his videos are really like his videos are really um really good, really good production. He does a really good job on them. He's got a good camera and he produces them very well. It's worth just going over there and just looking at what he's doing because it's he does good. He does really good. Um what else was I going to say? All right, so I keep getting messages like um I keep getting these messages. Well, I keep getting two different kinds of messages that I think I should talk about. The one is sometimes I get these messages where somebody's like, I'm having trouble with the alien coil. I watched your video. I'm following it to a T. And I still can't get it. This is what's happening. And usually I can tell the person what's probably going wrong and they fix it. But what I tell them is in the video. Especially with my pre-recorded, like my pre-recorded um, build videos, like the beginner videos, I took my time out in them. And when you're talking about an alien coil, a staple coil, a frame staple coil, anything like that, like I know them coils in and out. Like there's no doubt about it. I know everything about it. I know everything. I've made so many mistakes on them. I know what mistakes you can make. I've built a hundred of them perfectly and then started making a different mistake. I know that I know the coil in and out the information's in there. It's definitely in there. Um, I usually say this is very important. Like if it has to go into the swivel in a certain way, it's I, I'll say, I'll repeat it and I'll say it's very important that it goes on the swivel like this. It's very important. If you're doing it my way, it's very important that you do this. So, the gauges are important, you know, like I showed you with the staple coil the other um, on Tuesday, like the gauges could really turn your build around. And I went back and, you know, since I, I'm getting new cameras, I kind of went back and looked at my videos to see if maybe I wanted to redo them with a better camera. And I'm looking at them and I don't even know if I can do much better. Like I, I'm, I'm like extremely pleased with my first videos. Um, I really liked them. I think I did them very well. Um, and the production, the, the camera ain't bad in it. So I probably won't do that. Maybe I'll do them again, but I'm not going to redo them because I, I really hit every point in them, at, like the Enigma coil. I don't think I could do a better Enigma coil video at this point. Um, yeah, the, the alien video, I like all, all the whole... The whole six beginner videos, I like them a lot, and I'm not going to really do anything different. So, um, you know, uh, just pay attention to them. It's, it's important to pay attention to what I'm saying. If I repeat something, um, note that I repeat something. Like that, if I say something's very important, it probably means if you don't do it, you ain't going to get this build right. So just, um, yeah, just definitely... Because I don't mind answering questions, but um, I kind of did this channel so that I answered the questions without really having to answer all the questions, you know, so I could just, if you ask me, do you have any tips for aliens? I could just send you a link to the video. I like them questions better, you know, instead of I watched your video and I still can't get it. Sometimes it just takes more time. It's hard to watch somebody on a video just nail it like that, and then um, then you think you're doing something wrong because you made one mistake. That's not the case. I've been doing it for a while, and that's why it's good that I have the live videos where I make mistakes, so you can see that that even though I'm doing um, nine out of ten things right, that one thing is fucking me up. Yeah, and it just takes a lot of practice. So um, there's that. And then the coil sales. The coil sales. Um, I've been getting a lot of coil sales. All right. So what I've been having to do is basically I do them by payment. Like if you pay, I put you on the list. Right now, I'm pretty clean with my list. I have like a couple people in the list. Like I'll be done them in two hours. So if anybody wants to order coils, that would be awesome today. But um. 
people, even though I don't like getting into um, custom coils, because if you think about custom coils, if I were to do custom coils for everybody, first of all, everybody would just want custom coils. Second of all, it would just be a mess. Like I can't do, um, I can't do an Enigma for you, a Pitchfork for you, a Groove Fuse binary for you, and get them all out in a week. That's impossible. But money talks. Like if you want to pay a certain price for the coil that I'm going to make you, I'll do it. But you're going to go in line like everybody else, you know. But at a certain point, that also holds everybody else up. I used to have a bunch of coils just pre-made, but those are fucking gone. Like now it's just whatever you order, I got to fucking make it now. Like if you order free aliens today, you, you put it in my PayPal. I put you on the list. When I get up to you, I make the three aliens and send them out. You know, every, every morning I go to the mailbox or sometimes at night I go with the mailbox. So, um, I jumped the queue fee. Yeah, <laughs> that would be a good idea. But, um, you know, it's just the custom coils is a real like thing I try to stay away from. But for instance, like the last pitchforks, they sold for $55. There's no way I'm not saying, yeah, I'll sell them. And if somebody else comes up to me and says that they'll pay $55 for another set, of course, I'm going to fucking do that. Like, I'd be crazy not to. Why wouldn't I do that? You know, if somebody wants to pay $35 for a set of enigmas, I'll do that. You know, it's just, you know, and pitchforks at this point, I'm like I said, I would take $45.50 for them. And somebody paid $55 and I said, fucking right, I'll fucking do it. A set of pitchforks. So if people want to pay the money. I'll do them, but they are going to go in line just like everybody else. And everybody's in line according to payment. You can't call me and say, or you can't text me and say, listen, um, I want to order these. And I say, all right, you know, I'm not going to make them until I see the payment. That Why, why would I go aside and make pitchforks, hold everybody else off when I don't even have the money yet? Like I've been burnt a couple times. I'm not new to this. I've been selling coils for over a year now. And I've been burnt already a couple times. I've done some stupid things. I've trusted a couple people just because I've talked to them for a couple months and it just didn't go good. Um, I've done deals for people. Um, what's up? It's me, dude. What's up, everybody that came in? Steven, everybody that's coming in. Yeah. So when... Um, I forget exactly what I was saying. Yeah, well, whatever. You go by what you paid. Uh, oh, that's what I was saying. Sometimes I was giving out like really good deals to people, like if they were following me. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, there's going to be End Divine Coils for Black Cat White Faces channel this week. Um, yeah, so sometimes I make a deal with people. Like if they've been following me for a while, I was selling coils to them for like 50% off if they bought a lot. That's not something I can really do anymore because it's like, first of all, I caught somebody selling them for more. All right. I caught somebody buying coils off of me for a lesser price and selling them for more. They weren't very smart about it. And that's how they got caught because, you know, somebody said, oh, I just bought your coils off. And so they're awesome. Oh, yeah. That's fucking great. How much were they? <laughs> uh, so there's that. And then there's also there's like one there's like one in particular person. Like I'm not going to say no names or anything. They're good people. I like them. But like I used to sell them aliens for like seven dollars a set. If I have like I said, I'm making the coils as as they're coming in. If I have on the list. All right. Somebody that just paid the real price for aliens, which is like 14 or 15 dollars. If you just paid 14 or 15 dollars and you paid seven, who do you think I'm sending to first? What customer do I want to keep? What customer do I think deserves them more? You know, like that. That's it. Now, I also offer these people like the blemish coils, if you don't mind, if you're just vaping them and you don't mind a slight blemish. Like when I talk blemished, it's really just like it's not perfect. 
If it's real fucked up, I just throw it out. Like if it has more than one mistake in it, it gets thrown out. <clears throat> but um, yeah. So there's just lots of things you have to remember that I'm I'm just a guy. Um, I have a real job. I don't really need this coil thing. I'm doing it for both of our benefits. Like I'm not just doing it for me. I don't need. If I stop selling coils today, I'd be good. I I got a good job. I'm fucking fine. I don't really fucking need to sell coils, but I like to sell coils to people that can't really make them coils or people that just want to vape and divine coils. And then it helps the channel. But if I didn't have it, I'd be all right. I would, I would definitely be all right. Even running the channel, there would just be less giveaways, you know, just that's pretty much it. I got the cameras now. So So something that uh, happened that's pretty awesome because I have a I have a buddy that used to um a buddy in my neighborhood in Fishtown, Philadelphia, and um and he has a Instagram and his name is Retro One Thirty Eight. 138 yes retro 138 retro 138 and his name is brian he's a good buddy of mine graffiti artist he used to be a graffiti artist and um you know cool ass dude he used to build and you know he's just got different interests now so he like fucking texted me up he's like listen i got this wire here i'm not even using so i was like yeah hey, sure i'll take some wire you got some wire so i'm figuring you know He's got like some 26 gauge nichrome, 26 gauge canthal, you know, maybe a, a fucking half a spool of ribbon he didn't use, you know, probably some like 34, 36 gauge. You know, I'm going to get a couple of spools of ribbon. He might be Russian, Steve. He may be Russian. You may be right. He may be Russian. Russians and Israelis um, are very mixed because, you know, uh, because of, uh, World War II, a lot of like mixtures have happened. Like the Israelis I work with, most of them are half Russian, half Israeli. They're very, uh, very common in a lot of things because lots of Jews flew, uh, fled to Russia um, a lot, like a lot. And Russia is a lot of, um, there's got to be a lot of vapors over there because he's got 15,000 subs. But anyway, my buddy, it's a fucking shoebox. There's like 50 spools in here. And it's not just like, and it couldn't have came at a better time, first of all. It's everything. There's like everything but 36 in here. Everything. There's stainless steel. There's nichrome. There's cane ball ribbon. Oh, my God. It couldn't have came at a better time because I'm going to Detroit. I'm trying to make a bunch of coils to take there. And um, I didn't place an order for wire this week. So, you know, um, obviously Retro 138 is like got end of my coils for life. He likes him some aliens. So I'm just going to make him a bunch of aliens and just. Yeah, he's just getting fucking coils free for life. Not necessarily Russian. He may have been in a hurry. That's one of my favorite jokes. If you're American coming out, if you're American going into the restroom and you're Russian going out of the restroom, what are you in the restroom? If you're American going into the restroom and you're Russian coming out of the restroom, what are you when you're in a restroom? European. <laughs> European, get it? <laughs> European. Some funny shit. So a mushroom, a mushroom walks into a bar and says, give me a shot and a brew to the bartender. And the bartender says, whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't serve your kind here. Turn around and get the fuck out. And the mushroom goes. Why? I'm a fun guy. <laughs> He's a fun guy. He's a fun guy.
That's some funny shit. There's a joke that, um, there's a joke that I always remember. Um, it's from a dude that, um, he, uh, a buddy of mine who passed away recently. And, uh, he just had like, my buddy just had like a real big personality. And, um, like, a, like he just, everywhere he went, he was like the center of attention. He, um, he was like, you know, he, he kind of was like a tough guy. Like no matter, he would like get in the fights, like constantly. He, uh, had like a mean left. He would knock people out. And, um, he was real funny. He just had a, a fucking great personality and he died recently of a heroin overdose. But, um, we were working together and he's like, Hey Nick, you want to, you want to hear a joke? I just made up. I was like, all right, I'll listen to a joke. You just made up. Sure. So we're working. He's telling me this joke. So the joke, I, I've never like really told this joke because it's how he set it up is a little fucking weird. It's just, I can't remember because I've only heard it once, but it's a lot like a lot of different jokes, but it basically went, a guy walks into a bathroom and um, a guy walks into the bathroom and when he's going to the bathroom, he sees a little red haired Irish man walking out of the, out of the, uh, the bathroom stall. He's about three feet tall. And he goes, oh, my God, I have never I've never met a, a leprechaun before. And the leprechaun turns around. He's like, yeah, well, this is your lucky day. He's like, because I'm also very lucky and I can grant you three wishes right now. So he's like, all right. So basically the whole wish thing goes on. So the guy goes, what the leprechaun goes, what's your first wish? And the guy goes, man, I really like I really like my women, man. I would just like to have a beautiful fucking wife. You know, it just fucking nice ass, nice breast, just a beautiful wife. And he goes, all right, well, if you give me a hand job tomorrow when you wake up, you will have a, you will be laying next to a beautiful woman. He goes, all right, sure. Fucking that, the beautiful woman all, all my life. Yep. Yep. You'll have beautiful woman all your life. He's like, all right. So he gives him a hand job. So he goes, all right. When you wake up tomorrow, you'll have a beautiful woman. He's like, oh, this is great. I can't believe this shit. He's like, what would you like for your next wish? He's like, man, I always want this one certain car, man. I always wanted this one certain car. And the leprechaun's like, how about when you wake up, you have five cars, five, five of these cars. He goes, all right, man, I would fucking, that would be great. He's like, all right, but to grant this wish, you're going to have to blow me. So the guy's like, oh, man, all right, five cars, one little blow job. All right. So he blows the leprechaun. Takes two minutes. No big deal. He goes, all right, I got, now I'm going to wake up with five cars. So he's like, what would you like for your third wish? He goes, man, how about just all the money in the world? He's like, when you wake up tomorrow, you will be super rich. You got to let me fuck you in the ass. He's like, ah, man. So eventually he gives in. He goes, all right, all the money in the world. All right. Pulls down his pants, lets this little Irish man fuck him in the ass. When they are all done, he goes, man, I can't believe I'm going to be the richest man in the world when I wake up tomorrow. And the little Irishman goes, man, I can't believe you thought I was a fucking leprechaun. So fucking funny. God. I was dying when he told me that. That's fucking funny. I always remember that joke when people tell me jokes. Always, always remember that joke. I almost never tell it because it's so, it's hard to get through because I've only heard it once. And when he was telling me, he, he obviously got that joke from something else. Like it was obviously inspired by another joke that's been out.
What's up, Anton? So, um, what else was I going to say? I think there was something else. Was there something else? No, I got, oh, I remember I was telling you about this juice. And I don't have it on me right now. But that juice, I'll tell you again later on tonight. That juice, the um, the sad boy, the sad boy uh, jam cookie, I used the same cotton all week through that entire bottle. And there's been nothing wrong with my coils or cotton. It's very clean. It didn't fuck up my coolers or cotton. So basically what I'm getting at is if you like Jam Monster, everybody that, that has tried Jam Monster says the same thing. It's an awesome juice, but it ruins your coils. This shit is maybe better than Jam Monster. It's damn near a clone. But um, it doesn't mess up your coils. So, there is something. So, I don't know who watches the UFC or ha has followed it this week. The UFC is crazy this week, man. I was going to order the fight last night, and that kind of got ruined. It was going to be, like, the best fight ever. Like, um, Khabib and Tony Ferguson, I've been waiting for that fight forever. It's like, I'll tell you what happened with Connor. So, the whole UFC, people people get it mixed up. They think because of what Connor did that it messed up the main event, but it didn't. So um, there was a fight going on, Khabib versus Tony Ferguson. This fight has been booked three other times, and they keep getting hurt, and it doesn't happen. On April 1st, April Fool's, Tony got hurt, and they came out with the news saying Tony got hurt. The fight's off again for the fourth time. So everybody's like, that's an April Fool's joke. But it wasn't. He really got hurt. So they brought in Max Holloway, who was a champion in another weight class. Max Holloway's in. He's going to fight Khabib for the belt. So that's happening. And then through all this, Khabib and Connor are, you know, they're kind of rivals. He's Khabib's about to take Connor's belt because Connor hasn't fought in a while. So they got to take it. They got to strip him of his belt and make another champion. So that's what they're doing. So Khabib went up to one of Connor's boys backstage. Now, Khabib had like six people with him, six of his like training partners with him. And he went up to one of Connor's training partners and said something. He grabbed him on the neck like this and said, like on the shoulder, kind of like this. And I guess he grabbed tight or whatever. And he kind of threatened him and Connor in backstage. All right. So in retaliation, Connor comes from fucking from uh, Ireland all the way to New York to fucking to confront Khabib. He gets um, to the parking lot of an event that the UFC was holding. So what happens is there's two buses that are about to leave this event. The one bus is filled with the blue corner fighters. The other bus is filled with the red corner fighters. So, like, the, the UFC drives you to the events, and then they drive you to your, you know, to wherever you, you guys are going to disperse. But they keep the fighters separate. So, Khabib's in this bus, but the person that Khabib's fighting is in this bus, and vice versa for all 15 fights. All right? So, this is the red corner. This is the blue corner. Two different buses. McGregor comes, starts he gets backstage. He must have paid somebody to get in there. He gets backstage um, into the parking lot, and he starts banging on the window. Khabib, get the fuck out here. Get the fuck out here. The bus starts driving off. 
Khabib's trying to get off. There's cameras inside the bus. He's trying to get off. Everybody's stopping him. Don't do it. This is stupid. Connor picks up a fucking dolly, a hand truck, and throws it through the window. It hits another. It hits another fighter. It, it hits the window. Glass flies in his face. He's bleeding all over his face. Um, the person he's sitting next to is a girl fighter. She's like a 115 pounder, and like her backstory is like she's very emotional. A very emotional person. So she's scared to death. She's thinking these motherfuckers are going to come on the bus. Connor brought like 20 people with him. He brought a whole bunch of people. So he throws that. He tries to throw something else. All of his boys are throwing something. Somebody tries to stop him. He punches that person. It was a security guard for UFC. Um, later on, there's a warrant for his arrest. He ends up turning himself in. He got $50,000 bail. He got out. He called Dana White. Dana White said like he apologized that other people got hurt, but he thinks that his actions were justified, but he didn't mean to hurt somebody else. Bottom of the line is, is he UFC ain't going to get him in trouble. He ain't going to get in trouble. He's got to deal with the law and there ain't nothing going to happen with the UFC. They fucking, they're going to fucking let him walk right through this. Thug Rose, that's right. Thug Rose. Yeah, Thug Rose fucking won last night in a decision. Um, but anyway, through all this, Max Holloway couldn't make the weight. He was trying to, but the doctor stopped it. Um, oh, yeah, that's that's the one thing that um, he might have been drunk. But the one thing that um, people were saying was um, or that Dana White said, he was like, I don't know if he's on drugs or what. And that's a big rumor going around um, that he may be on coke. And there's video. If you go on YouTube and look up like Connor on coke, there's a lot of things that like point to it. Like when the one time he's on a mic, which I kind of understand that this may not be the case. But the one time he's on the mic and you can just tell he's talking like somebody that's just did coke. And he's going and he's fucking, you know, making sure his nose isn't running and shit. But that happens a lot when people are cutting weight. You get like... Um, you get like cold symptoms and shit. Your nose runs like when you're trying to sweat a lot, when you make yourself sweat, it shit just starts coming out of everywhere. And that was during a weight cut. But anyway, um, he, uh, he has been accused of the drug thing before. Of course, everybody says he's drunk. Now he hasn't been in the UFC for a while and that motherfucker's ripped. And I would not be surprised if he did a couple cycles or, or a cycle while he was out of the UFC because, he, dude, he's got fucking muscles like most people don't. And if you look at him back in the day, he didn't have them same muscles. Um, he hasn't been back to the UFC. And I don't care what anybody says. If you do steroids once in your life, if you do it once in your life or you do it at a certain time, let's say you do a couple cycles when you're, you know, 22 and then 25, you still have benefits of that. Like you just, you, if, okay, I do a bunch of steroids, I get all ripped and shit. And then I stop taking steroids. I, I got benefits from that. Like them benefits stay with me. If I keep working out, I got them benefits. It doesn't matter. The steroids could be out of my system. You still got some benefits. Now steroids, when you do them, you also get like, um, like you recover faster. There's like other stuff that happen when you're actually taking them, but you do get some. You do get something better than you wouldn't have if you didn't do them. So if he did steroids these past nine months and stopped, and now he gets clean urines, of course he got something out of it. I mean, he got something. You think Ken Shamrock would take out Connor easy? The wrestling probably get him. I think Khabib would destroy him unless Khabib did something stupid and stayed standing. Connor's stand up is just amazing. Um, if he started like getting better at like jujitsu and shit, which he ain't no he ain't no slouch at jujitsu. He just ain't on Khabib's level. But if he man, if he was like a good all round fighter. He would be something else, but he just stands and fights, and that that gets him through. You know, there's definitely picking his fights. He he's, he ain't stupid. He's picking all stand up fighters. 
but I'll be right back. I want to go get my other juice real quick. So I'll be, um, I got to try this out, 23 gauge N90. I usually do um, 25. I'm going to see what this 23 comes out at. Well, Diaz is a great boxer. Diaz is a great boxer, but he also, um, I mean, he's got a lot of losses in the UFC, Diaz. He's a very good fighter. He takes a lot of tough fights. But um, I think he gets the exact credit he deserves, to tell you the truth. Lots of people love him. Diaz is huge name. The differences between N90 and N80, N90 resistance is a bit lower, and um, it lights up quicker. Um, so let's say you have a – let's say you have a 20 – a 24 gauge N80 fuse Clapton. A 24 gauge N80 fuse Clapton would be like a 0.1, but a 28 or 24 gauge fuse Clapton of N90 would like be a 07 or a 08, something like that. Ten times more nickel, yeah. Ten percent more nickel. But this is the juice I'm talking about. I bought another bottle because it's banging and it doesn't fuck up my coils. Sad boy. Sad boy. I wanted to get the strawberry, but they were out of three. Yeah, I got to get some N90 uh, Clapton wire. Actually, I should probably order it like now. Um, Swifty, what's up? Hmm. I got another Soren pod. I needed that because the one Soren, that's the thing with the Soren. Sometimes you get a bad coil, and I did get a bad coil, and it works, but it's just, um, it works, but it doesn't work as well as other, other ones I had. So sometimes you get a bad coil. I don't know if there's a hot spot in there, but I don't know. So you like high on like 0.3, yeah. Then if you like that, then N90 is probably not for you. Yeah. Now where is my... I vaping this on? Ah, uh, you know what? I think it might be downstairs. I'm trying to figure out what I had this jam monster on. Or not the jam monster, the sad boy on, but I don't think I have it up here. No. Can't even think what oh it was it was in the drop, wasn't it? Here it is. Here it is! Here it is! Whoopee! All right. These are the coils. I, I made these coils, wicked them, and I started vaping the juice. Alright, let me get the bottle that I had so I can show you how 
how much I've ate so far. All right, so that's how much I got left of the bottle. All right, this whole bottle, I, I put a build in, whipped it, didn't re-wick it, didn't clean off my coils, nothing. What would Jam Monster do to these? What would Jam Monster do to them coils and that cotton? It would absolutely destroy it, destroy it. That's the thing, saturation. It's very sweet. It's like the same sweetness. It's very, very sweet juice. Like, I know sweetener now. Now that, like, you know, I get a Dory liquid and I understand, you know, the difference between juices with a lot of sweetener and just well-made juices that don't need all that sweetener. Like, the, the flavors give it the, the flavor. The flavor gives it the sweetness. Like, the caramel apple crisp. The caramel... And the sweetness of the apple gives it the sweetness. I don't need a bunch of sweetener in there. So now that I know that, there's this is a sweet, sweet, sweet juice. It tastes like there is a lot of sweetener in it, but it's not killing your coil. And I've heard about new sweeteners that aren't killing your coils. But man, man, oh man, I can't believe it. It's just like Jam Monster, but it doesn't fucking ruin your coils. And lots of people say it's better than Jam Monster. It doesn't have, um, we were talking about it at the store, and one of my buddies was like, uh, actually Retro, uh, Retro, the guy that gave me the wire, was uh, kind of talking about how um, there's a lot of butter in Jam Monster. There isn't a lot of butter in this. There's a little bit of butter, not a lot of butter. So it's a butter cookie with, with blueberry jam. so good such a good juice especially with coffee that's why i like my savory juices All right, Anton, have fun at the beach, man. So I'm probably going to shut this video down at the hour mark. Um, just remember the reason I came on here was to tell you about the blues, uh, the blue tickets. I will be on at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern time tonight on my channel to pick the winners of the raffle. If you need tickets still, you just have to go to PayPal and go to the cook the t-h-e cook c-o-o-k 420 at yahoo and every every uh it's in the description there every five dollars you put in is a ticket all right Every five hours you put in is a ticket. I will be picking it. You got until 6.30 p.m. tonight. I'm picking the winner tonight. I may or may not have a little more to put in there. I'm not sure. I'm trying to meet this person that said that they had more to put in. I'm hoping I can meet up with them. But um, if not, I mean, I think the prize is good enough. Let me tell you what the prizes are. <clears throat> These are actually just some of the prizes because there's a whole list um, I do have to tell you. So you're going to get a V-God Pro Mech. V-God Pro Mech. Awesome. I've thought a couple of times of just putting the money in and taking this fucking thing. I swear. I fucking think this thing's awesome. And I'm, I was so close to just saying, fuck that. I'm keeping this. But no. 
this is going in there and then to match it the recoil with and divine coils in there i'm actually going to put them in there today i got to figure out what i'm going to do i'm probably going to do um some interlocking fralians all right so this on top of this both are black awesome setup 24 millimeter setup all right i gave in the paypal it's right above you paul and then after you pay him screenshot it send it to me on instagram a grim green me pod given in by grim green and own boy oc this was also given in by grim green and own boy oc this was given in by somebody in the chat but they wanted to remain nameless um why so cereal by hometown hero i got some adore e-liquid um 30 mil to put in there i got um an adore e-liquid tail an end of vine tail um, oh, the fucking build mat. It's still in the package. A resistance crew build mat. All right. A resistance crew build mat. Um, and then I have a couple juices I'm just going to throw in there from Hometown Hero. Just a couple I have left over. I'm going to throw them in. I'm going to just fill up the box and just, um, you know, I'm going to see what I get from this guy. I may do a little second prize. I'm going to do some kind of second prize. There's going to be some kind of second prize. I got to get it together. I want to get this mail out. There are a couple giveaways that I didn't get out yet. Um, I, I was looking at my stuff. I got out all the sales and shit, but there was a couple giveaways that kind of slipped my mind and they are going out. So if you're waiting on a giveaway pack, um, I can even tell people who it is. I can tell you who it is. Um, Phil Lee, Phil Lee, your pack still has to go out. Um, what the hell? Who else is this? Oh, Big J Wit. Big J Wit, your pack still has to go out. They're all here. They're all here, right here. Addy, your pack still has to go out. And Kenny B, your pack still has to go out. So these four are going out today. Um, so those four people won giveaways and their packs are going out today. So um, everybody else is out. I also have to get out. Um, there's a couple. Well, that's not important. I'm not going to tell them their names, but there's a couple of people that have asked me for coils that um, are in the end divine family circle that um, I'm trying to get out this week. If not, I guess I'll see them in Detroit. But what's this? There you go, Black Cat. Freaking knocking them dead. Didn't even say it. And that's why, that's why we have moderators. And a gang of them, too. I got a bunch of moderators. I'm about to make more moderators, too. I think Chessie would be a good moderator, right? Um, I've done live videos for Interlock. I haven't done a, a real video for Interlock. Chessie, not Jesse. Jesse's got one. Jesse's got a wrench. But I think Chessie would be good. If Chessie's here, you better believe that every time Mimi's in here, she's getting she's getting uh popped.
Well, now you are, Mob. What's up, Phil? Phil, did you just hear what I said a bit ago? Your package still has to go out. It's going out. Um, actually, yours has to go out tomorrow because um, that's when all, all of them are going out because it has to be taken to the post office because you are outside the U.S. Um, so we're an hour in. Um, I got to get some coils done. I got to clean it off my desk, too. Um, there's a chance that after I get done a couple coils, like I, I definitely have to do the uh, breakfast thing with my daughter. I have to build coils. Um, you're going to send me a message on IG? Okay. <clears throat> So we raised 200 already on this uh, thing. Uh, come into the live chat at 7 and I will give away a uh, whatchamacallit. Actually, shit. Let's give away a spot now. Let's give away the number one spot right now. And then I'll give away the last spot on my channel. So let's give away um, the number one spot in the raffle. All right. Um, I'm going to buy two spots off of um, I'm going to send my money to the book. I'm going to buy two spots and uh, I want to give away number one spot right now. All right. So I'm going to go. Oh, shit. Let's go to random.com. All right. When I press start. Everybody's going to guess a number from 1 to 50. All right. One number from 1 to 50. When I say start, guess your number from 1 to 50. I'm going to go to random. Whoever's closest without going over is going to win the number one spot of the raffle. All right. So now 1 to 50 guess. One number, one person. You will get eliminated if I find out that you did more than one number. All right. So when I say start, start. There you go. Put your numbers in now. If you put it in before start, do it now. Please only do numbers. Don't write anything else but numbers. Guess your number. This is for the number one spot in the in the uh, raffle. Everybody only did one number, right? Because it looks like there's a lot of fucking numbers. What's up, Drew? I hope everybody got a chance because I'm about to say stop. I'm saying stop. I'm saying stop in three, two, one, stop. Okay, so everybody's numbers are up. Let us do the random.com thing. Or random.org. This is random.org that you could do this. So generate a number from one to 50. All right. There's one to 50. We're going to do the third guess, all right? The third time, whatever the third number is, we're going to do it. So I'm going to generate. It's going to generate a number. I'm going to generate again. It's going to gener generate a number. The third hit is the number that we're going to pick, all right? Just like always. One hit. Two hit. Three hit. Number seven. So who's closest without going over? Number seven. Oh, I got to change the live chat. I'm sorry. One second. 
All right, let's do this. All right, let me go back. All right, number seven, closest without going over. <laughs> Nobody did under seven. And a couple people said eight. I would say let's do, but a couple people said it, so I got to do it again. Right? Nobody said under seven. Yeah, but it's the closest without going over. And two people got eight, so I'm not even going to go down that road. All right, we're doing it again. If it was only one person that said eight, I would have did it, but I can't do that. It's not fair to the others. So we're going to generate it. Um, we're just going to do one more generate. Whatever I hit, that's what it is. 20 20 who's the closest without going over so it would be so far it would be easy riders nine dave w is 11 um arn is 12 philly is 14 so i think it's philly with 14. Yep. Philly, you got your you got a spot. Well done, Philly. Good shit. All right. All right. I think it's time to get out of here. Um, so the next show will be at 7. And then the show after that will be at about 8.30. All right. Yeah. Pennywise poster. Yeah, I like it too. I never seen that one. I've seen it before, but it was a good poster for five bucks, so I got it. So 7 p.m. I will be back up. Just so you know, right now it's 10:30 a.m. So it's still gonna be a while. Um, I'm playing with the idea of going live on Instagram. I don't know. While I'm making coils, I probably wouldn't be talking. I would just be building. But I'm I'm playing with that idea of maybe going live on Instagram as I build coils. But um, I'm not positive. But anyway, get your tickets. Go to the cook420 at yahoo.com's PayPal. Um, buy your tickets. There will definitely be a first prize and a small second prize so far. There may be a bigger second prize. I'm not sure. Um, the new one wasn't the full story. Yeah, I heard it was really good, but um, yeah, who knows? Who knows? If I didn't see it, I can't really comment. But that is it for now. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you at 7, 7 p.m. tonight um, to do this uh, drawing, this raffle drawing. Um, yeah, thanks for hanging out. Enjoy the rest of your day. 
and I'll see you later. Um, and we'll talk more later. All right. Thanks for hanging out as I drink my coffee. Wow, I drank the whole coffee too. This is a good coffee. This is from a place called Reanimator Coffee in Philadelphia, in Fishtown, Philadelphia. If you're ever near Fishtown, go to Reanimator Coffee. And if you ever go to Reanimator Coffee, hit me up because I live a stone throw away from there. I could throw a rock from here right now and hit Reanimator Coffee. Boom! Reanimator, hit it. So if you're there, just be like, wow, I live near an end dot the line. What a beautiful neighborhood. What a beautiful little fucking neighborhood. All right. Peace out, everyone. I am ending the stream. Don't forget to go check out Crazy Face McGee's channel. Don't forget to go check out Black Cat White Face's channel. Tommy Vapors, of course. Um, everybody's channel. Uh, Fresh, I seen you in here. Go check out Fresh's channel. Uh, Nikki B's channel. Yeti's channel. Oh, man. I just check out everybody's channel. Gizzard Stew. Everybody, just go subscribe. Even if you're not going to watch the videos all the time, subscribe to the damn channels. Adore eLiquid. Go subscribe to Adore eLiquid. There's an Adore eLiquid channel, and I think there are going to be videos up soon. Um, my dream is to get onto Adore eLiquid's YouTube somehow, some way. Um, if you want to buy Adore eLiquid juice, use the code. Use guys. Z at the end of you. Z at the end of guy, use guys at the checkout for 10% off your juice. Why? Oh, you, Z, I'm not in this thing. Why? Oh, you, Z, G, U, Y, Z, use guys is the code for a door e-liquid 10% off at the checkout. Um, go follow the resistance crew. And that's about it. Um, there was actually something else I wanted to do. One more thing before we go. I know what this is, but I did not open it yet. We will open it live right here, right now. There's at least one person in the chat that knows what this is. But I haven't opened it yet. I've been waiting to open it live. Um, it's going to go right back in this box until I get a frame for it. But this is my first time opening it and seeing it in person. Oh my God. It's beautiful. Wow. I'm opening it now because I just took a shower, so my hands are clean. Wait a minute. Did he sign all of them? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, shit. He signed all of them. I thought he only signed one. What? How fucking cool is that? That's my coil right there at the bottom, bottom corner. Resistance Crew poster signed by Twisted Messes. Twisted Messes, we did this thing on the Resistance Crew, which teams should be doing. All right. And that's, we all put a build in the blue Twisted Messes. We, you know, we all bought a blue Twisted Messes. We didn't get sent them. We all bought one. I don't want to ruin this, so it's going back in here. I got to get a frame for it. Eventually, all these are coming down, and I'm going to have, like, one picture, like, a uh, uh, I, every month I may change the picture, just get something pretty cool to put there. I think this is going to be the only picture for a while, though. I'm just going to take down everything, make it look a little cleaner, not so jumbled up. Um, but uh, 
we all bought a blue one, all put a build in it, and, you know, when the, the braids for blue thing was going on, you know, he kind of contacted us, or we contacted him, I'm not sure how it happened. But anyway, he said, oh, cool, you guys are doing that, then do this. You get that done, send me the pictures in a collage, and I'll get them made up. Just don't tell anybody. <laughs> but Oh, there's one black, yeah. Yeah, there's one black. How fucking nice is that? It's like all oh, HD, real shiny, and he signed all of them. What? I got a Twisted Message autograph. What? What? Fucking cool, right? I thought he only signed one of them. That's fucking awesome. I was not expecting a signature. That's fucking amazing. I just made my day. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Where is my juice? Oh, I still get to squawk. All right. Now I'm out of here. All right. Enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, resistance crew doing big things. Other teams should be taking notes. <laughs> That's funny, Drew. No, yeah, I think I'm just going to put it in the middle and just have one poster for now on up. Um, the only thing I don't like about that is... The Dragon Ball Z poster is, a, is an expensive poster. I mean, at one point, that was a $100 poster. I got it for way cheaper than that. But it's not just like, you know, it's a scroll poster. Like, it's a fabric. It's not just like a fucking poster. At one point, that was $100. I got it on sale. I got it for store credit. So the story goes, um, I used to play Magic the Gathering when I was younger. And coming out of a comic book store, me and my buddy got robbed basically all of our cards i lost my passion for doing magic the gathering after that so i sold all the rest of my cards to a comic book store i got a bunch of credit and that's one of the things i bought with it so but it was 100 I got it on sale for like 25% off, and then I used store credit. So I think I paid like, um, I think I paid like $75 for it, store credit. So, yeah, I used to really be good at magic. I used to go to, um, I used to go to like uh, contests and shit. I finished second in like a pre-release contest in uh, PA. I used to be really fucking good. Used to have a lot of good cards, and we got robbed one night at gunpoint. And, uh, yep, that was the end of that. I played a couple pre-releases after that, and then I just, I also felt like I got a little too old for it. Because I was playing when I was, uh, I was still playing at like 18. I was getting high and playing Magic, too. Black Lotus, like the GOAT. <laughs> it's hard out in the streets for a magic mofo. It really is. Gunpoint. They caught the motherfuckers too, but couldn't find our cards. They caught them though. Me and my buddy. They held a gun up to my body and told us to give us all the shit. And I seen the look on my buddy's face and was like, oh, fuck. Any other situation, I, I was a wild one back then. If there was no gun, oh, yeah. I would have definitely been throwing punches. You would have had to beat the shit out of me to get that. But the fact holding the gun up to my body was not fun at all. Just seeing the look on his face, I was like, uh-uh. All right. Take it. Take it. Let 
But all right, I'm out of here. This has been Coffee Talk. I may do a Coffee Talk every Sunday. Tell me what you think of that in the comments, all right? We'll do like a little vlog on Sundays, our Coffee Talk, just like this one. Tell you what's going to go on in the week. Yeti, I love you too, buddy. I'm going to see you soon. I'm going to see you real soon. So, yeah, tell me in the in the comments down below what you think of Coffee Chat every Sunday, and we'll do it. All right? I'll probably do it anyway, no matter what you say, but I'd like to hear what you think about a little vlog every week. No building, just kind of video, coffee talk kind of thing. All right? Peace out. Yeah, yeah. Have a good one.